Hi folks, welcome back to Coffee with Ravi. Today I wanted to do a little update about uh, COVID. We are beginning to understand the dynamics of transmission first and I wanted to make three points. Point one is that there's a transmission through droplets. Droplets are defined as a little juicier amount of fluid around the virus that are spread when we cough. The second word is aerosol. Aerosol is when it's a finer mist, less than five millimeters. It's a very fine spray, uh, perhaps when uh, we are casually talking and not forcefully talking. And lastly, the word is fomite, F-O-M-I-T-E, which is when we touch a surface that had had the virus that landed on it. So the most important takeaway that we're beginning to understand is that droplet transmission seems to be the highest risk factor. Droplets are generated when we forcefully speak, shout, or sing, or if it's a, a, a closed uh, area where a speaker is speaking forcefully. Those are the ones that put droplets out into the surrounding space. Aerosolization is a little less than the droplet spread, but aerosol spread is by casual talking and it's a finer mist uh, and tends to clear from the atmosphere faster. Lastly, fomite, uh, there is a little lower level of risk from the virus landing on the surface. Uh, studies are all over the place as to how long it stays alive after it lands on the surface, but the risk of that seems to be a little lower than droplet. So then, therefore, what are the bottom line risk factors that encourage spread. Number one is being in a space that's closed as being as opposed to being outside. The second thing is that being in a closed space where there's an infected person who is spreading droplets seems to be uh, a higher risk and then the prolonged risk of exposure is what's defined of, is as about 15 minutes. So in other words if one is in a room where there's an infected individual who is coughing, talking loudly, or singing in these kind of settings or shouting. You know, this could be closed bars, uh, closed stadia, uh, where there's proximity, the risk is the highest. The second highest risk is when there is this aerosol spread. This can be easily prevented by both infected people as well as other people having masks on that will prevent aerosol spread to a very great degree. Lastly, there is a word called super spreader events that's beginning to come across where a small percentage of uh, infected individuals are transmitting to a larger percentage. In other words, in, in some groups, 10% of patients uh, who are uh, infected are spreading it to 80% of the people who get the infection around them. So in general, trying to avoid these super spreader events such as closed concerts, bars, uh, uh, closed uh, sp uh, sports events where people are generating uh, a lot of this droplets. Uh, those are the risk factors. If we stay away and we understand that, our own risk can go down. Thank you. I hope you found th find this educational. Uh, we'll talk uh, about a GI topic next week.